Carl Malone showed up the other day in a in a jersey. Did you see that? Oh yeah. Was he wearing a jersey to I the game like a fan? He was. Like he was did he wearing you see like a Jordan Clarkson? He was wearing he was wearing a jersey. jersey. Like that's that's a choice, man. <laughs> well, and it's just he's made a lot of interesting. I, ones. But but I just. Would you ever wear a jersey to a game? Absolutely not. Would you ever wear a jersey with no shirt on underneath to a game? Like no, you're playing? I'm way too hairy for that. You DJ, would wear you, a jersey. First of all, I'm like the ki- like early 2000s. I was the you, king of the I jerseys. I bet you were like, you were the king of Mitchell and Ness. Oh, yeah. Right? I, like, I had probably, I, that, between basketball, baseball, and football, right. I had well over like But now 40. you're a grown man. You're a grown ass man. I was a grown man then. So yeah, I was I was always I was always into the sneaker and the jersey thing. So for me personally, yeah, you know what I, our, our I rock rule. jerseys all the time. I think Kara Henderson was the first one to come up with this rule that you can't wear Weird. a jersey to a game of a player who's younger than you are in real life. <laughs> you know, and, and it gets broken every day. Last time I wore a jersey to a game was the nineteen ninety seven, I believe, AFC Championship game or ninety eight, whichever one that was. I don't know what year counted year NFL year. Was when the Jets were in uh, in um, in Denver. What's the last one? That you AFC watched? Championship game that led to uh, Mark Schlereth's middle finger ring. Yeah. Um, in that over the Jets, um, I wore my uh, Wesley Walker gamer to wow. the game awesome. with my name still stitched in the back of it from Camp Loconda and Trails End Camp, so they knew which bunk to return <laughs> it to. It fit, and I was already on Sports Center two years by the time I went there. Three rows from the top of the stadium. Last time I wore a jersey to a game as a fan. Now, Rich, I was so big into jerseys back in the days when we would go out. I had a birthday party once. My friends threw me, mm-hmm. and I didn't know this going in. Um, but when I got to Geisha House where everybody was, everybody had a jersey on for me. Like, the entire party. People who never worn jerseys. Had people who were like, mm-hmm. I just went to the store and bought this. Nobody told me about it. Ashton? Did Ashton yeah, show up in the everyone, everyone. What was, his, was, what was his jersey at the time? I want to say. What was it? What was it? I'd have Ooh. to. I'd have to. I have the picture. I'd have to look. It was he got every picture. Probably he has a back bear. Then he's wearing jersey. Yeah, right? every. Payton? It's amazing. If you look at my Facebook, yeah. Yeah, the well, entire it's party. Walter Payton, but what, had, what year was this? What year? This was, was probably two thousand. This party was probably two thousand three. Wow, four. That was the height though of every rap video. Everyone was wearing jerseys. Yeah. That yeah. was the that height. Was big. And I was and I was getting them on the arm, as they say. Hey now, you know so. I was getting football, basketball, baseball, faux free ninety nine. So it was it, was he wearing a Rex Grossman game? <laughs> no, no. Rex you know what? Uh, no. I'll, I'll find the picture and then I'll figure Cordell out. Cordell Stewart, which one Rex, it was? Rex Grossman. <laughs> Rex Grossman. That was the cagey Dick oh Duran Bears years of two thousand three. He might have had a Cat Bozo jersey on. That's only no. that's the only way you can refer to Dick Duran. It's cagey. It's cagey. Oh, of course. Yeah. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.